John. Look at that. A full moon. Halloween night and a full moon. Oh! <laughs> that reminds me of Halloween a year ago. Remember that? Huh? Do I remember it? Every time I think about it, I get scare bombs all over my body. It's a night we had to beat the devil. I remember that as long as I live. I remember walking into that spooky old bookstore used as a front for his operations. I could still smell the sulfur and the brimstone. something else. I'll tell you what I'll think about. I'll think about food. Food? You just ate dinner an hour ago. Come on, Jonathan. I am driving here. When you're driving, you work up an appetite. Oh, Mark, please. Come on, Jonathan. Can we have a little fun tonight? Come on, it's Halloween. A little snack in front of the TV. A lot of scary movies on tonight. <laughs> Doesn't that sound great? Absolutely wonderful. <laughs> Satan subs. Don't tell me you're going in there. Jonathan, it's just a name. Yeah, a name you were just talking about. Jonathan, I seriously doubt if the Prince of Darkness is in the sandwich business. Yeah, well, I'm not going in there. I'm not. All right, fine. I'll go in by myself. I'll be right back. You know what your problem is. You're afraid of the competition. <laughs> you know, you got a short memory for an angel. Remember, I was the guy who got food poisoning when you took me to Gabriel's horn. <laughs> <laughs> You. Oh, yeah, look, I was trying to, uh... Have you got a fire or something back there in the kitchen? Nope. Under the kitchen. Under the kitchen? Oh, under the kitchen, I get it. A little atmosphere for Halloween, right? <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Let me show you our line. We call this a little bit of heaven. Not very satisfying. Yeah, it is kind of small, isn't it? This is purgatory. Hey, now that's more like it. It's really neither here nor there. This is our biggest seller, Devil's Delight. I mean, that's awful big. I, I can't eat all of that. That wouldn't be good for me. Then why would you want to eat something that's good for you? Come on. It's Halloween, and this is a sandwich. What the heck, I'll take it. <laughs> Three dollars even. All right, here you go. Have a happy Halloween. I always do.
What are you watching? I'm watching this horror film. I was a teenage werewolf. <laughs> oh, I love scary movies. Uh, you love scary sandwiches, too. You know how your stomach gets. Well, one of those sandwiches is not going to bother me. One little sandwich? That's like calling the Titanic a dinghy. <laughs> oh, he killed her. You know, the guy in this movie reminds me a lot of you. Thanks, that's very kind of you. Oh, I mean when he's a regular guy, not when he's got the fuzz all over his face. Hey, you feel like taking a walk? Come on, John, I'm into this movie. We don't have an assignment tonight. Come on, it's Halloween. I don't have an assignment that I know of. I just feel like taking a walk. It's kind of fun to watch the kids trick or treat. Well, you go ahead. I'm going to see the end of that. I can tell you how it ends. He goes and sees hey, this hey, guy. Hey, 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 don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Now, you spoil it for me. All right, fine. Sit there like a couch potato. What do I care? Hey, just remember, I'm the one that warned you about the sandwich. <laughs> Men have a snack. Crackers, don't you have any candy? Candy's bad for your teeth. Oh, boy, what do I get, tofu burger? You'll thank me when you don't have any cavities. We will not. Our father's a dentist. You're putting him in the poorhouse. Oh, you're such a funny boy. Alan, Cindy, aren't you two ready yet? Coming. Oh, <laughs> you look great. Oh, well, don't put it on till you get outside, honey. Alan broke my wand. She oh. did not. You did, too. Mom, she hit me with the wand and it broke. Because you pushed me. I pushed you because you were standing on my gorilla mask. Would you just stop, please? Oh, your brother's awake. Come on. Guerrero started this race on the pole. He has led every lap. He certainly doesn't want to give it up now. Alan Jr. comes around John Bilder. Bob, kids are ready. Honey, I'm watching the car races. Bob, it's 8.30. The kids are ready to go. Let go. They're, they're big enough. I don't like them out at night without supervision, and I've got the baby. And there are other kids out there alone. Come on. I want to go without Dad. I do. I'm not scared. You see, Alan, your sister's not scared. I'm not scared either. I just don't want to. You are too scared. I am not. Hey, come on. I, I've got to get the baby. I don't see why you can't go with them. Because I worked all week and I want to relax on a Saturday night, okay? Now, go on, Alan. Stop acting like a baby. Go on. Go on. Did they go? Yes, they went. It'll be good for Alan. Uh, you baby him too much. That's why he's scared. No, he's scared because you let him watch those horror movies with you that he shouldn't see. I've got to get the baby his bottle. going on here? <laughs> Nothing. 
I think you better go. Oh, come on, Mom. We're not doing anything. Don't give me that mama stuff. I want you out of my house. Hey, now, that is no way to treat a guest. See, we're just having a little drink. Is there a problem with that? It's a problem for me. Out. Hey, you don't mean that. OK, we'll, we'll be good little boys, and we'll go dance. Does that feel like I mean it? Mom, is something wrong? Nothing, dear. Just throwing out the trash. <laughs> go up to that house. You're such a baby. I just don't want to go. Let's do it yourself, scaredy cat. My brother is such a pain. All brothers are. Yeah. Hey, let's scare him good. I've got an idea. Just do what I do. Sure, little lady. Here you go. Spookies. Yeah, how come my folks? Maybe I can sleep over. Okay. <laughs> Where are you going, monkey man? You got my sister. You gotta help. Your sister, huh? How old is she? Eleven. Oh, forget it. What you got in that bag there? Please, you gotta help. Hey, look at this hall. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> hey. Give him back his bag. <laughs> you talking to us? <laughs> yeah, I said give the kid back his bag. Oh, he wants the kid's bag. Here. <laughs> it's the unknown comic. Hey, buddy, come on, make us hey, laugh. <laughs> 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 Man, let's get out of here. <laughs> hey, you all right? Hey, hey don't, don't be scared. I I'm on your side. You're a... you're a... a werewolf. Me? No, 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 I'm not a werewolf. I'm an angel. You don't look like an angel. Well, this? I was just pretending. There, that better? Help you pick up your stuff. You really know what you said? Well, you bet I am. Clutch your heart, hope to die? Well, that doesn't really mean anything in my case, but I can guarantee you I'm an angel. Then you've got to help my sister. He grabbed her. What are you talking about? Who grabbed her? A man, a bad man. He grabbed her and pulled her into the house. She was screaming, please, you got to help. All right, you just take it easy. You lead the way, I'll follow you. Forget it. Okay, you just wait out here. Uh-uh. All right, let's stay behind me. Keep it quiet.
I'm not a... I'm not... No, no, no. Listen to me, I'm not a robber! You're, you're not? No. I say, I, I, I was looking for this, this little girl. He's a pervert! He's a pervert! Please, will you listen to me? Listen to him! Listen! Look, see, see this, uh, this little boy told me that, that his sister was dragged into this house screaming. Oh, oh, those two. It, it was a joke. She wanted to scare her brother. It was a joke. Oh, look, oh, oh, look I'm, I, I mean, I'm sorry. I mean, I am, I mean, I don't know what to say. I mean, God, I'm sorry. I mean, we're, we're both sorry. We're sorry. We're, uh, we just, we are. Change my shorts. I'll tell you, your sister sure has a weird sense of humor. You're telling me. I feel awful scaring those two people like that. It wasn't your fault. Are you really an honest to goodness angel? Yeah, that's right, I am. And you're not a werewolf? Ah, no such thing as werewolves. How do you know? Well, because I know. When you grow up, you'll know it too. If there can be angels, how come there can't be werewolves? Because God makes angels. He doesn't make monsters. That makes sense. I'm still scared of him. Well, that makes sense, too. It does? Well, sure it does. Everybody's scared of something. I'm not acting like a baby? No, come on. Not in the least. Can you come trick-or-treating with me for a while? I wouldn't be scared with an angel. Okay, for a while. Thanks. <laughs> My name's Jonathan. Mine's Alan. Sure is nice to meet you, Jonathan. Nice to meet you, too, Alan. Sit down and watch this. I was a teenage werewolf. <laughs> oh, I love horror films. Ah, it killed her. You know, the guy in this film reminds me a lot of you. I mean, when he's a regular guy, not when he's got the hair all over his face. Gentlemen, why don't you sit down and watch this? We don't have an assignment. Let's just take it easy. <sighs> don't tell me angels get sore throats. It'd sound awful. Got him, you all right? Hey, buddy, is there something wrong? Oh! <laughs> 
Jonathan, please! Mark, no! Mark, Jonathan, please! Jonathan! Wake up! Jonathan, wake up! Jonathan! Take it easy. You're having a dream. You all right? Yeah. I mean, that, that was some dream. I mean, it, it was real. The sandwich. What? The sandwich. The submarine sandwich. You can't eat like that before you go to sleep. Hey, I warned you. Well, that's right, you did. I mean, it was real, John. I mean, it was just like in the movies. Well, except you were older. You're like a middle-aged werewolf. Why did you have to put it that way? Look, are, are you going to be all right? I got to go out again for a little while. You got to go out? What do you mean you got to go out? Hey, will you stop acting like a baby? I've got a little guy waiting for me down in the lobby. I promised him I'd take him trick-or-treating for a little while. He's scared. Well, I don't blame him. Well, you want to go with us? No, I don't want to go with you. I don't want to go out there. It's dark out there. Mark, you're acting silly. Well, maybe I am acting silly, but you didn't have my dream. Now, you go ahead. I'm staying right here. All right. But take it easy. Relax a little bit. You're all right. Stay awake. Back as soon as I can. Hey, Jonathan. Yeah? You really should have seen the kid in that movie. I mean, he really did look like you. Well, except he was younger. Mark, I was never that young. Are her folks home? Yes. Well, uh, let me talk to her mom. Well, they're in bed already, but Ella always asked and they said fine. And what about your brother? Alan. Isn't he home? You mean he's not with you? No, he ran away. I yelled at him to stop, but he wouldn't. I don't know what got into him. I thought he was going home. Well, how long ago did this happen? About an hour. Oh, boy. What's the matter with that kid? He just ran off for no reason. Well, I certainly didn't do anything. Of course, he'll probably make up some story like he always does. Can I sleep over, Daddy? Yeah, I suppose. Oh, thank you, Daddy. I love you. Bye. Alan's gonna be in a lot of trouble when he gets home. Yeah, it gives you a good feeling, doesn't it? <laughs> Oh, I finally got the baby to sleep. I'm going to have to take him back to the doctor's. Those eardrops just don't seem to be working. Hmm. Uh, Cindy just called. She's going to be sleeping over at Eloise's. Where's Alan? He's not with her. Where is he? I don't know. Cindy said he ran off about an hour ago, and she thought he was on his way home. Oh, my God. I told you not to let them go alone. Oh, honey, probably met a couple of the guys and went trick-or-treating with him. Bob, I want you to go find him. It's getting late. For crying out loud, he's going to be home soon. Do you want me to go and you can stay with the baby? Forget it. I'll go. If he had just stayed with his sister in the first place, this wouldn't be happening. I'm going to give him the what for when I find him. Bob, I don't want you spanking that child. Oh, of course not. He might cry. You are raising a sissy, you know that? He is not a sissy. I don't know what you call him. The other kids push him around. He doesn't like to fight with the other boys. Is that so bad? Yes, that's bad. Why don't you keep your voice down? I just got the baby to sleep. Face it, Anne. He's afraid of his own sister. She's bigger than he is, that's all. And he's afraid of the dark, and he's afraid of monsters, and he's afraid... I mean, come on, come on. Monsters? Uh, can we please discuss this after you find him? You're fine. Another wonderful evening for me on my day off. I do. My dad, well, he's a lot different from me. 
Well, you bet he is. He's a lot older, for one thing. That's not what I mean. My dad, he's... He's kind of like Charles Bronson in the movies. He's real tough, and he wants to make me real tough. But I just can't. Well, how do you know he's so tough? Well, he drinks beer, watches sports, and he even yells at other people when he's driving his car. Oh, well, that sounds pretty tough, all right. Of course, you know, he might just be doing that to impress you. Impress me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, with how tough he is. Maybe he figures if he acts real tough, you'll try to be more like him. Do I think so? Don't know. It could be. I'll tell you one thing for sure. He loves you. I know. I just wish I could be me. I mean, I love him, but I can't be like him. Hmm. Never try. Me? Yeah, lots of times. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Me too. But I can cry in front of my dad. He's never cried. Oh, come on. How do you know that? He told me only girls cry. Sissies. You think I'm a sissy? No way. Well, then I guess your dad's wrong. You know, Alan, moms and dads can't be right about everything all the time. Yeah. Sure like talking to you, Jonathan. <laughs> and I sure like talking to you, Alan. But it is time to get started home. Okay? Okay. All right, let's go. Hurry up, Spookies are starting. Did you eat all the ice cream? Yeah, sorry. We haven't gotten the candy left? No. Darn. It's no fun watching Spookies without snacks. Oh, don't answer it. It's just more kids. Hey, come on. I'll show you how to get some more candy. Maybe nobody's home. Nah, the TV's on. Trick or treat! <laughs> Here, these are for you. Thank you. And these are for you. <laughs> Thank you. Have fun. <laughs> that was great. Make your pick. Oh. She's a pain, too. All they like to do is tease. Yeah, I guess that's the way brothers and sisters are. I'm not. She's the one that's always scaring me, like tonight. Wish I could just get her back one time. Hey. Oh, no. No, no, Ellen, huh? Oh, oh God. <laughs> That's so gross. It would gag a maggot. Tell me, what is that stuff? It's guts or something. More kids. You want another candy bar? No, I'm ready to barf. Cindy, Cindy, let me in. That's my brother. He's not home yet. that door. Well, maybe we should invite him in. Oh, he might be hungry. Yeah, we'll give him a can of dog food. Oh, I'm treating for some nice. Oh, my God!
gone. It's all right, sis. You'll be okay now. Was it? Was it real? Afraid so. Full moon tonight. I better get home. No, don't leave us. I have to. I don't want Mom and Dad to worry. Please don't go. Eloise? There. Eloise, your folks are back. See you later. Hi, Mr. Powell. Mrs. Powell. Hi, Ellen. Having a good time tonight, Ellen? Unbelievable. Stay away. Uh, to stay away till John gets back. I don't stay awake. You don't fall asleep. And if you fall asleep, you're gonna dream. No more dreams. No more. What was that noise? Mm. Oh, you're snoring. You're asleep. Of course you're asleep, stupid. You don't snore when you're awake. All right. All right, everybody up. Come on, come on, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, go. That's good, way to go. Now I gotta do something to stay this way. What am I gonna do? A soda. I have a soda, because soda's got sugar in it. Sugar, sugar will keep me awake. <laughs> now you're thinking. Oh. 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 Mm. oh. It's a dream. It's another dream. That's it. That's it. No more sitting down, no more lying down. Oh, I gotta do something to keep myself awake. What am I gonna do? What I do? I jog. That's what I do. I jog. I jog. I jog until Jonathan comes back. That's what I'll do. It'll keep me awake. I know that'll keep me awake. Please. You didn't find him? No. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, God. He's all right. No. I know he's all right. He's not all right. It's getting late. It's after 11 o'clock, and something's happened to him. It I know that something has happened Stop to that. him. It hasn't. He could be anywhere. Uh, I'm going to call the police. Police? Why are you... I thought you said nothing happened to him. Why are you calling the police? Because he's lost. He, he was probably having a good time. He went too far and got lost. You mean he's missing? He's not lost. He's missing. Stop it. <coughs> Baby's crying. My name is Robert Bailey. I live at 3223 Alden Road. Uh, my son is uh, uh, missing. You know, Jonathan, this is the greatest night of my life. Well, it was different, that's for sure. You know, I don't think I'll be afraid of the dark anymore. 
Now that I know, there's no monsters, just angels. Tell you something else, I got a feeling your sister won't be trying to scare you anymore, either. <laughs> yeah, that was so great. I wish I could have had a camera. I could have... Uh-oh. One minute, one eleven, that's Maple South of 5th Street in the 76 parking lot. Why do you think they're there? Uh, my guess is because of you. I told you your folks are going to be worried. Oh, boy. My dad's going to kill me. Well, you better go on, get inside. Come with me, Jonathan. I'm scared. Oh, come on, Alan. There's nothing to be scared about. Yes, there is. And you're the one that said it was right to be scared. All right, come on, let's go. Uh, this is the latest picture we have of Alan. It's his little egg picture. All right, we'll cover the neighborhood. You're sure he wouldn't spend the night with a friend? No, no, he never has done that. Well, we can't officially report him missing at this point, but... Alan. Oh, Alan. <laughs> Well, I guess I won't be needing this. Mr. Bear. Kids, no wonder we get gray hair. Good night. Where have you been? It's, it's a long story, but... Oh, this is my friend Jonathan. He helped me get home. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Don't you... Ever do anything like this again, young man? Your father has been out half the night looking for you. I'm sorry, Dad. It was my fault. I'm sorry. Of course I'm crying. I thought something had happened to you. Okay, Dad. Everything's okay now. Oh. Jonathan, when you get back here. I can't keep this up much longer. But we are getting back here. I should be a society. Who's that? It's me, Jonathan. Jonathan! Oh, thank you, boss. I'll never forget you for this. I owe you one. All right, Jonathan, now where have you been? You only said you'd be gone for a little while. <laughs> Dream. It's all. It's a dream. It's a dream. It's, it's not a dream.
ਮੈਂ ਵੀ ਹਲੋ ਜੀ